I got a call, some people were asking me, what do you mean by total teacher, what do you mean by total teacher, okay? So I decided to make this video, yes. Now, just like we talk about forming a total child, you know, a child that is balanced socially, academically, emotionally, and then psychologically, also teachers need to be total teachers. Now, what are the qualities, you know, that we need in order to say that yes truly that teacher is a total teacher you see some of the teachers already have these qualities in them why some have to also acquire almost all the qualities now most of the teachers that also have these qualities already in them that are natural you know they still have to acquire some of these qualities in order to be what in order to be a total teacher now what are they? I would like to start with the first, first quality that every teacher, every teacher needs to develop first if you don't already have it naturally in you and that is passion. Without passion, you will be a frustrated teacher. Yes. Because when they, when they challenges, yes, comes to you, you know, won't be able to, you know, articulate properly to know how to solve these challenges. You won't be able to do what, shake it off, rather it will bounce on you and will affect you drastically. But with this passion, it keeps you moving. All the challenges, you know that, man, I know I want this. I know this is me. I know this is my purpose. I know I can do this. So I don't care. All these challenges are even like a stepping stone for me. Yes, I will solve it. No matter how difficult it is, I know I can conquer it. You know, you have that. You have that mindset. Yes. Now, the next one is being professional. You need to be a professional teacher. Yes. Because you are meeting different kinds of what people you are that's in terms of parents okay so with this professionalism you will be able to know the best way to relate with these parents okay and that's the one teachers really need to develop properly is the skill they need to always try to develop you know to acquire that skill daily to upgrade in it to know the real, you know, the right um, steps to take towards being professional because it has a lot to do with what your work presentation, it has a lot to do with what meeting parents. And then the next one is proactive. You need to be a proactive teacher, you need to know that you have to work with time, yes, otherwise. that if you're not patient as a teacher then you won't survive yes you won't survive if you're not patient as a teacher as a teacher you need that patience in you because we are working with what the children we're working with what the children who are what who are learning from us so in as much as we are teaching these kids we have to also know that they are there because they don't know so you have to do what be patient with them it's very important another one is that you have to be inspirational you really need to be an inspirational teacher to draw these learners to you to make the right connection with them so that truly truly you can give from your heart so that truly truly you can connect rightly with these kids and open their mind for transformation to take place. Not only that, you have to be an intentional of actions towards the learners as a teacher. Very important. You need to be innovative. Creative. 
creativity is what must be your top notch. Yes, because with this creativity, you will be able to motivate the learners. With creativity, you will also be able to touch these children. You have different ways you know, to portray what you are trying to let them understand. Okay? Very important. You see? Then, they said you can't give what you don't have. You have to be a disciplined teacher. If you want your learners to be disciplined. Yes, you cannot give what you don't have. So you need to be a disciplined teacher. If you are not a disciplined teacher, then I don't know what you are doing. Don't forget you have to be resourceful too. You have to be very resourceful. Because these learners, nowadays, the 21st century kids, they are always eager to learn. So you too have to be resourceful. You have to also be resourceful in the sense that you have to utilize the materials you know, around you in order to do what? Put it into a useful resource, a useful material for learning. Yes, and then as a resourceful teacher, your, your lessons can't just end in the classroom. Yes, we can actually have a wallless classroom, <laughs> you know, learning outside the classroom. Yes, it's very important too that as a resourceful teacher, you put that also in mind because most times some children learn more outside the classroom. Not only that, do you know you have to be very Children love learning when there is form attached to what is being presented. Make it lively. Some people say teachers are boring. You know, that word, I want to say no. Because they don't know what we do in terms of trying to motivate it in terms of trying to motivate the learners especially the ones working with primary school children nursery school children and of course some in colleges in sorry in secondary schools okay yeah you have to in most subjects you really have to introduce fun activities in order to make them do what get what you're talking about so i want to also say that teachers are not boring at all because we have a lot of fun activities to engage the learners in order to make sure they are motivated and they open their mind towards learning and finally to cap it up and wrap it up you have to be a happy teacher yes you have to be a happy teacher because remember happiness is what contagious everybody loves happy people so it takes nothing away from you to be what happy please be a happy teacher and by so having this acquiring all this then i want you to believe that you are a total teacher it's not an easy journey yes it's not at all because teaching is actually a mission according to mac Cock mac the man who believes that for every transformation to completely happen that teachers are supposed to bring their hands into the classroom and you know and i told him that i will also add that not only bringing our hearts to the classroom we need to bring our reflective mind in order to balance this heart with mind. Once again, I say thank you because this is also brought to you from the diary of the Toto teacher. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 